Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to this WordPress video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about what WordPress is and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about how it works and how we can go about using it as a front-end developer or as a back-end developer or even just as a user. Then I want to explain the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org and I'm going to talk about who uses WordPress and then how we can use WordPress to make money. Now, I know that the last question is probably the most important one, but let's start off at the beginning with what is WordPress. So WordPress is a content management system. That is a CMS for short. This means that it allows you to easily create and manage content on your website without the fuss of having to learn how to code. But that doesn't mean that WordPress is only for people who can't code. A common misconception that people have about WordPress is that it's some kind of WYSIWYG or some kind of drag and drop editor where you just drop your pictures and drop your content and it just kind of like formats itself, but that is not the case. In fact, I'd say you can divide WordPress into three different parts. So you can use WordPress as a front-end designer when you are creating WordPress themes, but you can use WordPress as a back-end developer creating plugins that add extra functionality to WordPress and you can be a user, in other words, someone who just wants to manage content on their website like a blogger or a website admin and you don't even need to know how to code you just simply write articles or write pages and uh, post them and they will appear in the front end of wordpress how does it work well as a blogger or a content creator wordpress users can easily create edit and manage pages and posts through the wordpress admin section now, WordPress has one of the most user-friendly interfaces of any CMS out there, and that is what has made WordPress become one of the most popular CMSs in the world. In fact, it is the most popular CMS in the world. The content is all stored in a SQL database, which is completely separate from any of the website code. So that means that WordPress users can easily export content from the rest of the site. In other words, they can take all their pages and move it over to another site. Or if you wanna change the entire look and feel of your site, you can simply switch themes, but you won't lose any of the content, which is pretty awesome. WordPress users can also install plugins that add extra functionality to WordPress. So plugins can range from something as simple as allowing you to embed a YouTube video to something a little bit more complicated, like turning your WordPress website into an online shop or even turning WordPress into a social network. Now let's take a look at how it works as a front-end developer. So front-end developers have the freedom to create WordPress themes and manage the look and feel of the WordPress site. So all of these theme files are coded in PHP, CSS, JavaScript, and HTML. That means that you will need to know all of those languages if you want to create a theme. You can also list your WordPress themes on the WordPress theme directory. And if you feel that you are your themes are good enough to sell, you can start selling the, these themes on external sites like Theme Forest or some kind of other marketplace. And WordPress themes can sell for anything between $30 and $50, depending on how good your theme is and how much you're willing to offer. So you can code themes and actually make a pretty good profit. If you're using WordPress as a backend developer, you will need to be very comfortable with PHP and you can use PHP to build plugins for WordPress. So you can build plugins that add extra functionality to WordPress or plugins that modify existing functionality of WordPress. So plugins can be something as simple as allowing a user to easily embed a YouTube video, but they can range to something a little bit more complex like turning WordPress into an online shop, creating slideshows, or even turning WordPress into a social network. So as a plugin developer, you're only limited by your imagination and your capabilities uh, when it comes to coding. Let's take a look at the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org, because even though these websites have the same name and they're owned by the same company, they do two entirely different things. So. If you are a WordPress user, if you're a blogger or just someone who wants a free website, you can go over to wordpress.com where you 
they'll host all your files and you have access to a very basic, very simple version of WordPress and all you can do is create and edit pages but you can't actually uh, edit any of the files, you can't edit the database and uh, you won't be able to build plugins but you can use WordPress for free to build a website for yourself. WordPress.org is an entirely different beast. So you can go over to WordPress.org, download a free full version of WordPress and install that either on your local host on, or on any server that you want to host your website on and you will have full access to everything in WordPress. So you can modify and edit the database, you have access to modify and edit any WordPress files, which means that you can use this version of WordPress to create your own WordPress themes or your own WordPress plugins. Let's take a quick look at who uses WordPress. So if you go over to builtwith.com, this is a website that allows you to find out what other websites are built with and it gathers statistics on the technologies used. So a quick lookup of my website, which is quinsonwatt.com, reveals that I'm using WordPress as a content management system. And if I click through to the global trends, I can see that almost, or actually 38% of all websites that are built with CMSs are built with WordPress. That means that WordPress is ranking way higher than systems like Joomla and Drupal, and that over one third of the world is actually using WordPress as a CMS, according to BuiltWith. And in fact, BuiltWith hasn't indexed every single site in the world, so there are probably still a bunch of other WordPress websites out there that we don't even know about or that BuiltWith doesn't even know about. Uh, but the point here is that there are a lot of people using WordPress. If you want to see a showcase of some of the websites built with WordPress or some of the people who were using WordPress, you can go over to wordpress.org slash showcase to see some examples of companies or celebrities that are using WordPress for their website. Now let's answer the question that all of you have been waiting to hear the answer to. How can I use WordPress to make money? Well, as I mentioned before, you can build and sell WordPress themes or plugins that you have created. So there are actually entire businesses who are built around this concept that they just build WordPress themes and sell them or build WordPress plugins and sell them. The only rule here is that all WordPress themes or plugins listed on the WordPress directory must be free. So if you want to sell plugins or if you want to sell themes, you have to host them on your own site or you can upload them to a third party marketplace. A common method for selling themes is to have your theme displayed on your own server somewhere. So hopefully somewhere on a subdomain filled with demo content showing all of the themes features or all of the plugins features and then hopefully potential clients can view that, decide whether they like it or not and then go ahead and click a buy button that you have somewhere on the page and this buy button can then take them either to your shop or to a third party marketplace where they can download all of the theme or plugin files and install it onto their own version of WordPress. What a lot of guys like to do with plugins is actually create a light version of the plugin and list that for free on the WordPress directory and then have a pro version of the plugin that people actually have to purchase and buy. And a lot of people uh, might like the light version of the plugin so much that they choose to buy the pro version because it has a few extra features that they wanna use. But if you don't know how to code WordPress themes and you don't know how to code WordPress plugins, you can still make money from WordPress by simply selling somebody a WordPress site. So in other words, if you know somebody who wants a website, go ahead and build a WordPress website for them. So download a version of WordPress, pick a theme, throw in some content and charge them for the amount of time it took you to set that website up for them. If you liked that video, there are a bunch of things that you can do to help. First of all, don't forget to subscribe, watch another one of my videos, follow me on social media, and if you wanna support the channel financially, you can also become a patron. Becoming a patron means that you're gonna choose to help me pay for some of the equipment and the software that I use to make these videos, and also, hopefully, help me finish my degree. So go ahead and click on something and I'll see you guys next time.